Hey, Comic Converge fans, Aaron Sager is here, and we are about to talk to the Justice League. That's right, we've got Kevin Conroy, George Newbern, Susan Eisenberg, and they are all starring in the Justice League vs. The Fatal Five, the new DC Universe movie. Join me as we talk to them and the entire cast. First off, Always great to see you uh, Thank wearing you. the cowl Thank and you. in person. I know, it's so much fun to be back yeah. doing the role again. I know, so what is it about, I mean, obviously, iconic, the man, the bat, the legend, Kevin Conroy, but what is it about this particular role that you were like, okay, this is, I, I want to go back to Batman for this one. Oh, well, this is fun because it, first of all, it brings the original cast back together from the Justice League, mm -hmm. and it's working for Bruce Timm. Who wouldn't want to do that? So everything about this was something exciting to be. But what is, what is fun about it, too, is it's, it plays with time travel, mm -hmm. and Batman is always an outlier. You know, that's part of his MO. He's not quite part of the team, but because it's at a different space and time, he's really an outlier in a big way in this. Um, so it, it underlines that drama mm -hmm. in him even more for me. It's a really complicated and interesting story. I feel what kind of special about oh this. God. I know. I totally know you from Twitter. I know. I, and I know your picture and your face. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Nobody should have to know that. No, it's lovely. You've had, okay, we'll talk about you later. But we, you've had some really big interviews and some really exciting stuff. I have. And well, I've been there, like, cheering you on well, on Twitter. And it's exciting because, like, I feel like I've met all of the iconic Wonder Women. Wonder Womans? Wonder Women. So like, Linda? met Linda, met Gal, Bye. and then here we are. Like, you know, so. I'm excited about this, and I'm excited that uh, Diana, Wonder Woman's back here, Justice League versus yeah. Fatal Five. I know. Is this just like, I mean, just what's your thought process when, when you're like, okay, I'm, here's, here's my crew again? Uh, I cried, and I'm not kidding. I mean, I've said this on social media. When I went to mm -hmm. the session to record, I saw her, and I have not seen her. Um, in a professional setting like that since 2006 mm -hmm. and it was so emotional and I think Bruce was like oh my god she's so emotional and it was just I did not know beforehand yeah. so it, it it melted me it just melted me I didn't expect this yeah even though the titles this we've done other things with Justice League and it wasn't that iteration and so to be revisiting her and him and him Total gift. All right, very excited. I'm talking to Superman himself. He's right here. Right, 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 here, right, right, here. right here. How's it? Just, like I, <laughs> just rip the mask yeah, off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, welcome back. Welcome back. How does it, it feel to be uh, back in the, the Justice it's, League? Fold? It's a blast. It's a blast. You know, good, good, working with Bruce Tim, the uh, executive producer and uh, well, head cheese of everything, is uh, just the best. He is, he is the Cadillac of, of animation. He is the Cadillac of everything. Greatest guy ever. But he should put that on a business card, he I really think, if, he, if it's yeah, not already on there. You. Okay, so, you know, with regards to Superman and Starboy versus, you know, versus the Fatal Five, uh, how does Superman feel about Starboy comes along and the Fatal Five shows up? We don't even know everything about this, but set it up for me. How does he feel? Well, um, <clears throat> I, how does he feel? I think he, uh, I think he's ready to, to buy, I mean, this is, now, mind you, my, my knowledge is somewhat limited because I, was not allowed to read the whole thing when we did it, so I haven't seen the final mix. So I'm, I'm going to go on what I think I know, which is folks from the bad guys from the future come back, and we're we're battling them. All right, Somali. Before we uh, dive into this interview okay. about the Emerald Empress, yes. I feel like I have to point out you have green toenails right I now. Like, Emerald Empress. I know, yeah. I mean, because you're rocking all the blue up top. I had to do a special homage to the Emerald Empress, but I felt like if I was too on the nose with the whole green outfit, it would be a little too much. So. Just a little. Yeah. Who, who else has noticed this yet? Um, no one. So I'm so glad that you did, but I did point it out to people around the right. table, other voiceover actors. So I was like, hey guys, look, 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 look. See? All right, cool. Even if it's I wasn't the me. first, I'm glad that you no, said I was the first. Yeah, because it's. it's it's fun for me. Who wouldn't? It? Like it's, you know. I mean, you're playing a super villain. Is why not have fun with it? You know. I mean, well, okay. Tell me about Emerald Empress, because uh, you know we, I haven't seen the film yet, but she seems like a boss, like a okay. bad boss. I am not even kidding you when I say she is the meanest, most evil, and most formidable villain I have ever encountered in any in anything that 
I've been a part of or anything that I've watched, I was literally like, when I watched the movie, I, I was scared. I was literally like, she does things in this movie, like she's so mean. And then just when you think that, wow, she's really mean, she comes up with thoughts that are Beyond. I mean, I'm actually a little intimidated right now, based on how you're setting this up. I mean, I hope I, I hope I'm not overhyping it, but I literally, when my husband watched the movie, he he literally came he came out of that room, and his jaw just kind of dropped, and he looked at me. He's like, oh, "Your character is so evil." Like he was like, yeah. like, like he You're felt like, Thank it. you, honey. And I, That's I was so like, sweet. That's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> I played the part right, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So talk about like how she fits into this whole Starboy dynamic and the Fatal Five and this threat from the future. What's she think about it? What's she know about these guys when they arrive? Yeah, well, so Miss Martian is training under Batman in order to fight for Limelight. Right. Um, and she, she's just trying to help her out. I mean, she's just as new as she is. We're both the rookies um, in the league right now. So we're both like, oh, we're here. And I think she's a little bit not behind me, but like a little bit under me. So I think I definitely care for her because I was just her. I was just like, I'm on my way to being initiated. Right. Yeah. Right. Real talk then, because yeah. Wonder Woman, she's seen some stuff. She's tough. Yeah. Uh, but now there's this threat from the future, this yes. fatal five. They are not to be messed with. No, so tough. so what she thinks? She, it's she like, I'm going to wipe the floor with these guys. Let's fight them now. What's kind of her take when she encounters this this future uh, person in Starboy and then these future threats? You know, she's not not gonna take any threat um, you know she she's no pushover she's Wonder Woman so when she senses this I mean she's in it to win I think that's one of the great things about these movies is that there's good versus evil and the good triumphs and so she's part of the good yeah. team in this thank you and and she's not you know she's gonna make sure that the good team perseveres yeah. All right, Comic Converge fans, thanks for geeking out with us at WonderCon and checking out all of our amazing coverage. We look forward to seeing you at the next con.